Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kim. Today I'm doing a little bit of a, a day in the life of an artist. So as you know, I'm an artist and that's my day job. And I'm just going through uh, how to do one of my florals. And I've sped it up in areas, slowed it down in areas. So just go with it and I'll try and do a, as best of a voiceover as I can. Um, so anyway, I've started off, which I didn't film, uh, because I forgot. I covered this in a tissue paper. So as you can see, it's quite crink crinkly. And then I have I've glued that down, let that dry. And now I'm going over with my colours to create a nice moonlit sky. But before that, I did prime it with gesso, okay? Just so you know. Um, so I've used white paint here. I've used Prussian blue. I've used some interference paints as well. I like the violet. Um, and I'm going in with white and interference paints and more dark blues uh, to give it that sort of like moonlit effect. Uh, and it takes me a little while to get the desired effect that I want. So it varies really. You can have more of a purple moonlit background or more of a blue moonlit background or even a grey moonlit background. Although I don't really tend to go for the greys because I don't know, I just find it a little bit dull. And I like the purple. So here we are again with some uh, Prussian blue. And I love this colour because it's so, it's just so effective for skies. Um, and then, like I said, I put some interference paint down as well. And that gives that sort of like a purpley tinge to the blue and to the white as well. Uh, going in with more white now. Uh, you have to excuse me because I'm trying to do this voiceover all in one go without having to edit any of it out so if I do make a few mistakes I do apologize uh, yeah it's really coming together now I really like doing these moonlit skies I love it you can get so many nice effects with it as well but it takes me some time before I am like happy with it now I'm going in with the bottom for with green so I've got a little bit of black there actually no that's Payne's grey and some green I think that's Hooker's green and I'm just painting in some what you call like grassy effects, okay? So it's the bottom layer. Going in with a little bit of a hairdryer there, drying it off. I've pre-mixed these paints so that I've got plenty of the same colour. And I've got a few different greens as well. So just popping in a few strands of grass in the grassy areas. Um, I like the paint to be quite fluid. So when I'm doing this bit. Uh, yeah, and I'm just using a small brush and giving a like leafy effect or grassy effect. And I do go in in a minute with a slightly, it's a brighter green. There you go, look, a brighter green. And then um, I've got like a mix of Payne's Grey and a little bit of black as well in a tub. So I do go in with that after. But now I've got, this is my favourite paintbrush. Basically, it's one of those fluffy paintbrushes, but with it, all the fluffy bits cut off, okay? I don't know what they call it. Um, what do they call it? <laughs> Can't remember. And I've cut it down, and then I use that to basically get my grassy, you know, shapes in as well. Um, I've mixed a little bit of the green with white, and then I'm going in, and I'm drawing some, yeah, I'm drawing some flowers now. So there's some green, purple, and I think pink ones on this one. Yeah, more white. <laughs> no, no, purple and white now. Purple and white. So a little bit of purple and white. And just basically go with it. I, I like this brush. It's so old, okay? In fact, I've got two of them, which I've cut up. And I use them so much. And, you know, they are great for doing this sort of effect. Now I'm putting some pom-poms in, okay? So I like to sort of like get the desired shape. Then usually, all being well, I go at the bottom slightly darker and then I do the highlights on the top. But as you can see, I'm going in now with some pink. This is actually, uh, what colour is this? It is, a, 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 it's crimson. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I can never pronounce half these names. So I've got some white and crimson, mixing those together and doing some more floral shapes building it up as I go. Um, I don't always dry it between the layers. It just depends, really. Uh, some yellow now. Um, 
probably put some white with that or green. Sometimes I put a bit of green or a bit of white, a little bit of white there. So these are going to be for the daisies, so the centres of the daisies. Uh, sometimes I use a gold, like a gold yellow. Sometimes I use a green and yellow. Um, just depends really. Oh look, I've got glitter now. So there's a little bit of purple glitter going in there. And I'm just highlighting some of the flowers, the purple flowers. Because once I put the resin on, once all this is dry of course, it really has a nice effect. Um, and I also use like an iridescent glitter as well to give that starry look. Which I haven't put the stars in yet, so that will be coming shortly. I don't know when, but it will be coming shortly. This is my iridescent glitter. I love this. It's so nice. That goes in nearly all of my paintings. They've changed the brand of this, and it's not quite the same. I think it feels... That one there, I've had for years, and it's lovely. There's another one in the same bottle, but I think they changed the supplier because it's more plasticky. I don't like it. So, yeah. But anyway. Um... So I'm just admiring my handiwork for the moment. <laughs> now I'm going in with some white petals. Um, I think I must have let it dry a little bit because obviously if you put the white petals in and it's not quite dry, you pick up colour from underneath. And I don't want green, pink and purple petals. Yep, <sighs> trying to change the shape of the daisies a little bit. Oh there, there we go. A bit of splattering. A little bit of splattering for some stars. I quite like the splattering on, on the bottom as well. Uh, oh, this is the dark, the paint's grey and black. So I'm sort of like putting in some darker leaves. And filling in some of those gaps. Give it a little bit more depth. It's so easy really. If you put your mind to it, you know, just sit back, relax, chill out. And you could easily create something like this. I've just picked all this up myself. I've taught myself how to paint. I've picked everything up myself. I've had to read, research and just, you know, trial and error really. Oh, here I'm going in with some inks and this is like an iridescent ink. Um, and I'm covering up some of the darker blue area there just to give it that iridescent look. And it really is effective. Um, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. It's not white ink. It's like an iridescent ink. Um, I've got so many different colours of this ink in the metallics and the iridescence. Really, really nice. Like the pearlescent ones. Um, you know, I quite like the purple, which is really nice. It's a little bit like the interference paint. Um, sounds odd, doesn't it? Interference paint. But when I first... When I first picked up this paint in the craft shop, in the art shop, I thought to myself, what is interference paint? It says interference violet. So I've got interference violet, I've got interference gold, interference violet and green, interference blue. And honestly, they are the most beautiful paints you can get. I love them. They're, they're not good on their own, okay? But on top of colour or mixed with colour, they are really, really nice and they give a really good effect. Um, and especially if your resin work afterwards it really does make the work stand out uh, and gives it a different depth so the colours sort of change in the different lights so if you move a painting around you'll see the paint colours sort of they won't change drastic, drastically they're not colour shifting paints they're just like a they. you can see one minute you can see blue the next minute you can't see it it's like that sort of paint so here I've got some metallic paint these are by Arteza and uh, they're actually quite nice paints to use. Haven't used them very often, but I have started using them recently. I've got a pack of the metallics. Um, I will try and start listing some things down below of what I use, but time prevails. I'm putting in some what you call like bluebells, hyacinths, whatever you want to call them, blue flowers. Give it a little bit more, you know, a little bit more colour. Um. But yeah, it's took me a little while to get to grips with the effect that I want to achieve. You know, it's been a lot of trial and error. And I think I finally cracked it now. Uh, where they don't all look the same, my paintings, but they look the same, if that makes sense. They're, 
the same style, I suppose. Um, but sometimes, you know, I change the colour of the sky or I won't put the moon in, I'll put a sun in, which I haven't done a great deal of sun ones, to be honest with you. I, I ought to, I suppose, because, you know, it's different, isn't it? But I love the moon, I love moonlight. I think it looks so effective. And I do like to put a few bumblebees in, you know, buzzing around in my paintings, which really, I suppose, they don't really come out at night, do they, bees? But it it all adds to the effect of the painting. And people seem to like it, whether it's day or night. If there's a bumblebee, they seem to love it. I think I've got a lot of voicing over to do throughout this video because I'm halfway through now and, yeah, it's all just about all voiceover. It's going to be. But I've, I've got to think of a few more things to add and say to keep you interested. You know, ask me any questions. If you want to know anything, just pop it in the comments down below. Um, pop over to my Facebook page at Kim Thane Art. The link will be down below. Facebook, uh, I use a lot more than I do Instagram, although I should start. I'm starting to try and use Instagram, but I, f I find that quite slow. I don't seem to get much response from Instagram. I don't know why. Um, you see these people, they get, you know, thousands and thousands of views on videos. Um, but I seem to be taking so long. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, if I am doing anything wrong. But, you know, all this social media is very hard. Of course, YouTube as well. Uh, and I want to get some videos out because I haven't put any videos out for quite some time. I put shorts out, but the videos have been few and far between. I uh, haven't been that well lately, on and off. Uh, I just want to, you know, get back into the swing of things. And it's difficult really to know which way to push the channel in. Because although I like doing the cricket machine and crafting, my art is my main thing. So I do want to get back into crafting as well. But it's like I say, it's time again. So I will just put out what I can, when I can. But... A lot of art's going to be on this channel. So, you know, if you're following me because you love my art, that's brilliant. Oh, here we go. I'm putting in some um, poppies now. And I <laughs> I can't say I've mastered poppies yet because I don't think I have. Uh, but I am a lot better than I was when I first did them. So I've got a little bit of grip with them. I... Um, what I should do, really, in fact, is I've got to put a little bit of white because I do put the black in in a minute with the little black centers um but then poppies what color are they they're not really black in the middle are they they have got black in them but they're, they're not all black they've got like little what do you call them little uh i forget what they're called now it's i'm not even going to say the word in case i get it wrong <laughs> but yeah so essentially what i'm going to do is I've used orange here, by the way, as well. Orange, red, and a little bit of yellow. And uh, you can't really see it that well. But when this has dried, which it has now, because this is like a few weeks later that I'm voicing over, uh, I can resin over this piece. Then I'm going to do a second layer again of paint. So basically more petals. And I will touch up the um, poppies with a little bit of more yellowy orange paint so that it gives it a little bit more, not 3D, but, th you know, a little bit more depth, a little bit more interest. Um, and it does, it, it really gives off a good effect. But I say resin and stuff like that, it does take its time. Uh, it's not the same as obviously painting a nice acrylic painting, uh, letting it dry, giving it a coat of varnish, and then it's all finished. But, you know, never mind. Uh, when you want to resin, it takes that much longer. So I'm popping in a few stems now from the poppies. I can't remember how much further I go with this because I am coming up later, later on in the video, um, to show you a couple of the things. Because like I say, this is a day in the life of being an artist. I have a couple of things. I've got a package. There you go. So I sold that one. Beautiful. And I am going to speak in a minute, so I will shut up. I just like that, but I need to wrap it up a lot better than that. So what I'm going to have to do is get a little bit of tissue paper. 
I'm going to wrap it in some tissue paper first because then that stops the bubble wrap from marking the resin. So let's pop that up there out of the way a minute. So now a quick scoot around while I package up some of my artwork. I like to recycle a lot of my packaging. So as you can see, this is recycled bubble wrap because it's got the brown tape from the previous person that sent it to me. Uh, yeah, so I don't take that off because it just rips it all. And I'm packaging this piece of art for a customer. Doesn't look very pretty, does it? Not really. <laughs> it doesn't look very pretty, she says. No, I know. But I like to make sure things are packaged well. And sometimes it's not that easy to make it look pretty. There you go. This is going off to its new home. I'm going to make a range of these with this little foxy here. He is called Fab, what did I call him? Fabio? Fabio? Do you know what? I can't remember. I'm going to have to try and remember. There. Let me have a look on my phone. I must have a drink of my coffee as well. Oh. So I'm just getting some artwork packed up. Um, I did quite well last night. Uh, I sold one, which was, where have I put that? Um over there somewhere. I've sold one. Uh, let me go and show you which one I've sold. Well, I sold this the other day, so that's going off. I've sold another one which I've just packaged up, which you saw me package up, and I've also sold... I've also sold this one here. Um, it's still going to have another layer of resin yet. Oh, actually, I really like this piece. I love it really pleased with that one so that's got to be a resin again and then framed and sent off i need to wrap this up make sure it's all clean and i also want to write the name of him on the back so i need to find out what his name is um so i'm gonna have a look on facebook on my facebook see what i put Florian, there we go, Florian the Fox, so he's gone, right, okay, okay Florian, let's write your name on the back, let's write Florian's name on the back, shall we, Florian the Fox, there we go, Put a little heart there, Florian. Right, okay, so now I'm gonna get that wrapped up. Um, first of all, I'm gonna put a piece of tissue paper in the front. Then I want a piece of cardboard over that, just to help the glass support, prevent the glass from getting broken. That should be strong enough like that. Then what I'm going to do is wrap it with some cling wrap. I'm not worried what it looks like wrapped up at the moment because I want that glass to be well protected there. Ah. right that should give it some more support and then I'm gonna wrap that in some cling in some bubble wrap okay there. 
and keep it as well packaged as possible put that in there and then i'm gonna just chuck a few of these around and that is about it for this video uh i think i'm coming up towards the end so i'm packaging this one up shoving a little bit of this uh stuff in to make it look a little bit pretty <laughs> i'm also using some more recycled uh stuff by hang on here we go using some of this here which is ideal um this is old packaging as well just put that in around the edges just to give it a bit more stability and a little bit more protection because we all know what the mail can be like sometimes don't we um I do really appreciate you watching my videos. If you've managed to watch the entire video, fantastic. If you like the video, please would you give it a thumbs up and um, maybe pop a comment in down below. That would be great. Uh, and if you want more content like this, let me know. Uh, if you want anything else, you know, want to see me painting anything else, let me know too. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to consider subscribing, it's free after all so that would be great as well because that will help my channel grow and then I can put out more videos so yeah so thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye